We are here with Kelsey Peacock for your spine and nervous system's role in your health. Kelsey is the community outreach coordinator with Peacock Family Chiropractic. She and Dr. Kyle take care of hundreds of families in the greater Indianapolis community as a fam where uh, Kyle is a family chiropractor and he's also a chiropractor of St. Mount Vernon Athletes, Heartland Church staff, and he traveled to, to Rio in 2016 with Team USA as wrestling chiropractors. Welcome, Kelsey. Thank you. So my goal is to empower you today to improve the health of your spine and nervous system and understand its key role in your overall health. So if you take a look at the spine and nervous system, most people think about getting it checked when you have a major trauma, such as a car accident or a major fall, or you have a major symptom like back pain, neck pain that's severely inhibiting your day-to-day -day life. Maybe it's headaches, sciatica, numbness and tingling, ear infections for little babies, colic, um, digestive issues. Those are all really common symptoms that we see and help with in the office. Um, but I would encourage you to take a look and uh, see one of our patient's x-rays who just followed some of those common warning signs. Um, so this is Sally. She came into our office after working as a receptionist for 20 years. And she didn't have a major trauma or um, a major life incident that pulled her into her office. It was that she was working at a desk and her friend who was working at a desk didn't have those health concerns, but she started having chronic neck pain, numbness and tingling down her um, arms, and then she also was having headaches. And so um, when she came into the office, we took an x-ray of her spine after we did an exam. And we found that she had lost 100% of her curve. You're supposed to have a beautiful 45 degree curve in your spine, and um, she had zero degree curve. Um, and she, you ideally want to have just 10 millimeters or less of forward head posture, and she had 28 millimeters of forward head posture. So as you can imagine, it was causing a lot of stress in her um, health and causing those symptoms. So, um, you know, she even had arthritis actually in the lower levels of her cervical spine. You can see where the spaces are thinner instead of a more healthy space like the top vertebra there. And you can see that the, um, the shape of the vertebra in the lower cervical spine are different than the upper cervical spine. So that's that arthritis is a result of the misalignment over time and that happens. So um, not only is this impeding her day-to-day -day life, but our greater concern is the function of those nerves not only can cause pain, but they can cause issues with your function of your body. The spine surrounds and protects your nerves, and those nerves go out to all your organ cells and tissues. So let's take a look at some of the causes that not only can sit in a desk cause, but other things that happen day to day. So it might be things like texting. Almost all of us have a smartphone and are looking down throughout the day to text, to email, maybe to watch the event tonight <laughs> or the, this video wherever you're seeing it at. Um, and also kids are using this technology day to day. They're on virtual classes, they're um, you know, typing at a computer for their essays, they're on a smartphone while they're waiting for mom and dad for a few minutes, um, but that little bit of time adds up and the hours that we spend on our phone each day can really inhibit the health of our spine. Um, you look at just lifting and carrying things, moving, or maybe you have a job that's really physical. Maybe you're that person who's sitting at a desk and your posture of how you are sitting at the desk. Maybe you're sitting on a wallet and then your hips are torqued. Maybe you're driving a car and you have a 45 commute commute each way to the office and your hips are shifted, your hands off to the side. Maybe you're at that desk and you're on a phone call and you don't have a headset and you're just talking to people all day long like this. So those little things over time, um, you want to first of all address those and you know get better ergonomics. But those things day to day over time can cause that misalignment of the spine. Um, maybe even you have a little baby. Um, this is my sister-in-law and brother-in-law and their sweet little baby. And uh, pregnancy itself can cause uh, just a lot of stress on a woman's body. And so being under chiropractic care during that time is great. But even the little, the little baby, so when she was born, she got checked right away a few hours after. 
um, Dr. Kyle, my husband, went to check her spine. And oftentimes, just from that birth itself, there can be misalignment. And so since he checked her spine right away, he was able to address little misalignments and she gets checked in the office um, for wellness visits as well. But with a little baby, if they have misalignment, leaving that there over time will cause different symptoms. They may not be able to express that they have pain or numbness or tingling, or they may not be able to express something like an adult would. Um, they may have chronic ear infections. They may develop torticollis. They may have colic or difficulty latching. Um, they may just not sleep as well, which a lot of babies have trouble with sleep, but trust me, it can make a difference. Um, bowel movements and just those little things day to day um, for little ones make a big difference. So that's another reason why it's important to not wait until your kids are ex explaining that they have an ache or pain, but to get them checked as early as possible. So you look at that spine and nervous system and how it, um, all those nerves go to all those different organ cells and tissues, your heart, your lungs, your spleen, your digestive issues, your, um, uh, your reproductive system, your kidneys, all of that. So if you take a look, we do have a handout accessible. It's got a Max Living logo on it and it's a spine just like this one you'll see here and it explains each level of the spine and where that goes and how it can impact your health. So um, it's pretty amazing. And then you'll also see to the right in the um, PowerPoint here, the spine, when we think about the nerve going out to that organ, if you cut the nerve going to the heart, you know that heart's gonna stop beating and you know, you know that would result in death. However, when we think about the, what if there's pressure on the nerve, that's still not good. That could cause heart palpitations or high blood pressure or um, all sorts of different things. And so taking a look at the alignment of your spine will impact the health of your body overall. All right, so back to Sally here. So she came into the office, we had her checked with an exam and that initial x-ray. Three months later, after she um, received several chiropractic adjustments and was doing things at home day to day to improve the health of her spine, uh, she received another x-ray with Dr. Kyle and she had decreased her forehead posture from 28 millimeters down to just eight, which is awesome. And she increased the curve of her spine from a zero down up to a 26 and 45 is ideal. So she's not perfect, but not only did that reduce and really eliminate her neck pain, eliminate her numbness and tingling and her headaches that she was having, but that's going to improve the quality of her life. That arthritis that was developing, if you would have left that there, what would that look like two, five, ten years from now? And she was young. She wanted to still hang out with her kids, be able to go on trips with her husband, enjoy time with grandbabies. Um, so she's got a lot of life ahead of her and we want her to live that fully and live that well. So we're super excited for her. She um, has continued other wellness care for quite some time. Um, so if you've never had your spine checked and you don't know what it looks like, I would really encourage you to get connected to a corrective care chiropractor. So not just whoever's closest around the corner or um, you know whoever's in your insurance plan, but somebody who's gonna be able to provide great quality care for you and for your family. And so, um, there are three Max Living offices around Greater Indianapolis area that are Max Living offices and a part of the Indianapolis Holistic Hub. We specifically are in Fishers, Indiana, Peacock Family Chiropractic, and my husband is the chiropractor, Dr. Kyle, and we've uh, been in practice for over six years and care for hundreds, if not thousands of patients, really by now. And um, and you can give us a call at 317-288. 0727 or go to our website at peacockfamilychiropractic.com and get connected to scheduling an exam. All right, we look forward to helping you and look forward to helping you um, improve your spine as well as your overall health.
Thank you so much, Kelsey. I appreciate you being here and sharing all of that wonderful news and information. Um, you can find them at peacockfamilychiropractic.com. And again, all of our market partners are listed on our market partner page. So thanks again. Thanks.